This video is sponsored by Wix Filters, manufacturers of filters for automobiles, trucks, off-road equipment, and manufacturing applications. Go to wixfilters.com for more information. Hey there, morning's here, and it's going to be a great day for your truck driver. Her thoughts home in on the day's journey ahead of her, and miraculously, she is ahead of schedule. The details of the route are worked out, truck fluid levels are good to go, and after a brief meditation in the driver's seat, she turns the key, presses the start button, looking forward to that throaty rumble she knows and loves from the engine. But nothing happens. What the heck? Not so much as a click from the starter. Mr. Battery, is this on you? What do you have to say for yourself? This is so typical Mr. Battery. At best, the driver's activities for the day will be delayed, and at worst, the truck will be out of service for the day or longer. But hold on, do these no-crank events need to happen? Not necessarily. No crank events are more than just an annoyance, no matter the size of your fleet. But the good news is that there is something you can do about it. Many issues that bring about one of these no crank events can be mitigated through purposeful preventative maintenance. Unfortunately, the starting and charging system tends to be one that, well, it just gets taken for granted. But consider looking at this system in the same way you would some of the areas on the truck that are involved in a regular maintenance cycle. Expendable items like fluids, filters, brakes, tires. That's because the truck systems that tend to be trouble free, or at least those that go long stretches without concern, are those that fall out of the regular maintenance cycle. The starting and charging system is likely one of those. And oftentimes this no crank tends to be the driver's warning that the system has been ignored. But this vital system is one that will take a truck out of service. If you're lucky, it happens at the start of your day, but starting and charging issues can happen anytime and often at the most inconvenient of times. So what do you do? Well, what's this? Oh, it's a letter from our friend, Mr. Battery. Mr. Battery, I can never stay mad at you. These are identical to the tips I was just going to list. Here, listen to this. Dear David, here are some steps a fleet can take to mitigate starting and charging concerns. One, establish a point on the maintenance schedule to inspect the starting and charging system. Two, clean debris from the battery box and any other starting charging areas. Three, inspect electrical connection points for damaged insulation and connectors, corrosion, and tightness. Address these issues if they are discovered. Four, Check the battery in service date. If the battery is nearing its expected lifespan, test it to see if the battery is within its specification. 5. Inspect the alternator mounting brackets and fasteners for damage and looseness. 6. Inspect the starter mounting fasteners, starter solenoid, and any other related starter hardware for damage and looseness. Your friend always, Mr. Battery. Thanks, Mr. Battery. The thing is, this is only one of the systems that may be overlooked during regular maintenance. So make a point to identify and schedule maintenance for each of your truck's major systems, and I promise it will be worth your time. For more trucking equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching.